Well, a local group of eighth graders is headed to a worldwide competition. They earned the spot by building a robot. They're all part of Coleman Middle School's robotic team. Stacy Scheibel shows us what they're learning and how it's paying off. There's no height limit. Yeah, no. Yeah, there is. This isn't your typical middle school team. This is good. Perfect. We have to cut off all of this. These eighth graders from Coleman Middle like School in Tampa are state yeah, robotics right. champions. Everybody's just really happy when we did it. <laughs> I remember at the competition, we were all like jumping up and down. What they did is build a robot out of Vex IQ pieces, which are similar to Legos. It can have challenges. But this wasn't just any robot. Each button you can make uh, the bot do different things. So what you're trying to do is collect the balls into, um, into whatever you're collecting them with, and you're trying to get them either into the basket or over the fence. Those baskets equal points, and their bot at States bagged enough baskets to advance them to the world competition. We currently have a bot that dumps about eight in the basket at a time. We just need to figure out a way to get balls in the basket more efficiently and do it in less time. The key here is teamwork. You have an idea. You build it piece by piece. So most of the time we start with the chassis and then we build onto that and it just gets more complicated with every piece. And perhaps the part that pleases their parents most is how much they're learning along the way. Math has a big role in this because you have to like program and you have to use um, numbers and different things like that to um, program the bot to make it actually move autonomously. And even more impressive is that this is a first year robotics team. Going to state qualifiers was a really big thing for me. I was like scared. I wasn't, I didn't really think I was ready or good enough. But then we did really good at that. And then went to states and I drove there and it was, um, we did really well. The robotics team heads to the world in just a couple of weeks, and they have a Kickstarter campaign underway to help fund it.